Hi, and welcome to the Pro Tools Expert review of Non-Lethal Applications Video Slave 2, which could be an alternative to the Avid Video Satellite System. So, what I'm using here today is my Pro Tools 12.4 HD running on Windows 10, playing out video from a Blackmagic Mini Monitor PCIe, and audio through an RME Fireface 802. I'm playing video also off of Video Slave 2, which is connected via Thunderbolt, via my StarTech dock, to my Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Monitor interface, which is feeding into the television monitor. The projector is being fed from my main Pro Tool system. We're keeping these two in sync using MIDI time code and MIDI machine control. So let's have a look and see how we get on with this. On my Pro Tools 12 system, I'm using a program you can download from the internet called RTP MIDI, which allows you to access the Bonjour network using an interface fairly identical to the one you'll see on your Mac when you set up your network MIDI. You can see there that my Windows machine is connected to my MacBook Pro. Then it's just a case of setting up the MIDI machine control and MIDI timecode to the correct ports that the MacBook is listening to. And then going to Video Slave 2 and just enabling Chase Sync. Using MIDI machine control as well as MIDI timecode means I can scrub the audio or video on my Pro Tools and Video Slave seamlessly follows. It's fairly instantaneous lock and with MMC Locate is obviously fairly instant too. Playback seems very reliable, but depending on the latency of your network, you may have to have a play with the offsets in your machine control. And depending on your video hardware, you'll also have to measure your sync latency through your monitor and account for that. Setup is really simple and the system seems to work very well. There's another exciting feature. As well as being able to burn in time code, you can also queue ADR wipes, display a script, and even generate beeps and flashes. You can even import a text file script containing all the cues for your ADR wipes, such as the list that I generated using my clip group tip that I published a few weeks ago. So let's have a look at doing that. In best traditions, Here's one I prepared earlier. This is a children's program called The Adventures of Ragamuffin. And you can see I've created three clip groups in my Pro Tools session, and I've exported them as a text file. I processed that text file using my normal method and exported it as a tab delimited file for Video Slave 2. So all I have to do is go to Video Slave 2 and click Open, Import ADRQ slash subtitle file, Select the file, and Video Slave shows me the columns it's picked up. So I know that this one's the start time code, this one's the end time code, and this one is the text. We just need to check that Video Slave won't cut off the first line, and hit OK. And we can see that the lines have been imported onto the timeline there. And if I hit play, you can see that the wipes are triggering and flashing at the beginning of each clip group. And this has been achieved with a minimum of fuss. You can see that the wipes are down on the timeline and have a little preview of the text included with them. The only issue we've got at the moment is that the burnt-in timecode is obscuring the text, but that's very easy to solve with the Preferences menu. I can go to the overlays, select the timecode, and then adjust its position. And you can see that the external display is moving to match the computer's display. Other controls are also here. So we can set the stream of color, say red for sound. And we can also set pre-rolls, beeps, whether there's markers and flashes, or even a countdown instead of the streamer. There's a huge amount of customization available, and it's all presented very clearly and intuitively. 
So let's have a go at recording some ADR using this. Here we go. And I saw a new friend. At least I hoped it was a friend. Hmm, maybe not. I'm obviously not going to be winning any acting awards in the near future, but you can see that this is a very flexible and easy to learn system to work with, which is amazing given its incredibly competitive price tag. So there you have it. That's my demonstration of Video Slave 2. I'll be doing a full Sync 1 2 playback reliability test, and I'll be putting the results of that in the accompanying article. Check out the full article on the Pro Tools Expert website, and thanks for watching.